Okay, so I have the fabric here which I folded into two. So the waist is 31 and quarter of 31 is um is about nine and three quarter is nine three quarter. This is nine three quarter plus one inch plus half an inch for ease and one inch for side seam allowance. That's one and a half. So this is it here. So the hip as well, the quarter of the hip is nine and quarter. Quarter of the hip is nine and quarter and one half an inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance. That's one and a half. Okay. So this is one and a half. And the lower part, I'm going to be adding three inches to the quarter of the hip to measure the lower part. But let me cut out the neck first. So the neck I will just use in case you want um you want rope, you want button at the back. So I'm just going to use three and a half by three and a half for the neck. For the neck width, you can use three and a half by three and a half. And for the back, I'll use two and a half for the back. Okay, so so I'm just going to you can use two and a half or less than two and a half. So for the front, I'll use three and a half for the front or four inches. I'll just use four inches for the front. So this is four inches. So in case you want to add button to the back, you can just come down from the neck by about four inches to create a button, to create a, an opening here. Just open this place up so that you can add either button or hook to it. And then you just slant the shoulder, you slant the shoulder line. Okay. So I've slanted the shoulder line. I'll also determine the midpoint here. So this is going to be for the, this is the back. And for the front, I'll just come in by half an inch here. You draw a straight line from here to this place. Then half an inch from here like so. And then you connect it back to this place. Okay, I hope you understand everything I did here. So I'm going to connect the points together. And then connect to this place and from the hip so ideally what I'm going to do is once I take the measurement here remember I said I'm going to be adding three inches to the quarter of the hip the quarter of the hip is nine and quarter then plus three inches for ease then half an inch for side seam allowance one, one inch for side seam allowance I have four inches so this is it here so now I'm going to connect the line from the waist down to the, um, the down to the lower part. Okay, I'm going to connect it from the waist down to the lower part. I'm going to mark the lines now. So I'm going to cut this out for us to see. See, this is what it looks like the length of this gown is 57 then you had half an inch to join this shoulder and then one inch to m the lower part so i have 58 inches so i'll use this now to cut the back this is simple to make okay it's very easy to make so guys this is the back here and this is the front so i'm using the back now to cut the front now for the front uh, pleats so this is how you're going to leave allowance here the same way we normally leave allowance our zipper allowance that's the same way you are going to leave about two inches allowance here okay so and after cutting the ham hole and the neckline after cutting it out what i will go and do now is to stitch the allowance 
I'm going to measure like about 5 inches or 6 inches from the neckline. I'll just measure about 6 inches from the neckline and then I'll stitch it down and then leave the rest of the allowance. I'm going to leave the rest of the allowance open just like what is in the picture. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. So the neckline, I'm just going to open this hub and then connect the um, neckline back here. This, so I'll go ahead now and stitch it together and show us what it looks like. So the sleeve, I'm going to show us what you are going to do to the sleeve. I'll show us what you do to the sleeve. The sleeve is going to be a normal sleeve. Okay, so the length of the sleeve is 21 inches. So because there's going to be a kind of folding at the sleeve area, so I'll need extra 4 inches for it. So making 24, then extra making 24. Now because the sleeve, there's going to be band there. So from that 24, I will minus the band allowance, which is 3 inches from 20 from 25 remember the actual length of the sleeve is 21 so if i add extra four inches for the folding i will have here that's 25 okay then plus half an inch down here half an inch up here that's one inch plus 25 i have 26 inches altogether now because i want band around the sleeve area so i'm going to be minusing about three inches about two to three inches it depends on how wide you want the band to be so i will deduct three inches from the 26 inches and i'll be left with 23 inches so 23 inches is what i'm going to be cutting here is the length i will need here is 23 inches okay so now that i have cut out the sleeve remember i said there is going to be a folding at the sleeve area so i want to measure where i want the folding to start from okay since i'm going to be adding band here so i want the folding to start from nine inches okay so this is nine inches here nine inches and i'm going to measure four inches from that nine inches i'm going to measure the four inches from there okay so what I'm going to do now is to notch where I have the mark. I'm going to notch on both sides of the sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to notch it now. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well. So this is it so when i want to let me just take this one off so what i will do is once it's time for me to sew it now i'll just bring this notched part i just made now i'm going to bring it together like so this notched part i'll bring it together like this and then go ahead and sew it this is it i'll bring the notch part the uh, the places i i notched so this here now the notch part of here and this as well which makes it two inches so i'm going to stitch it all the way like this and after stitching i'll open this place up and the folding will come down i'm going to show you once i i, I don't uh, once i'm done with that i'll also pleat you can pleat it together or gather it and once you are done you attach the band the same thing for this side as well. You can gather or pleat it. So guys, I have stitched the sleeve. You can see what I was talking about when I said when I bring the notched parts, the two notched parts, that when I bring it together and fold it, that I'm going to stitch it and this is what it will look like. You can see it and it looks like a pleat and then you fold it you fold it down so you can see the sleeve here and i've already attached 
the band to the sleeve as well i pleat it and then attach the band just look at how it is okay so for the front bodies you can see that we i left allowance at the center front for the inverted pleat okay as you can see so you need to take in that pleat allowance okay and then when you are stitching you come down from your uh, neck depth you come down by about six to seven inches from your neck depth and then you stitch it you can see how it looks like after stitching and then you go back to the allowance you you, you took inside you open it up okay and then you you place it flat on your sewing machine so that you can stitch it around the neck you can see how i'm i'm doing it how i'm placing it it has to be flat so that you can stitch it around the neck okay so guys if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share this video as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye